Okay, here we are. The painting's dried. You can tell I've lightened the lighthouse a little bit. What I'm doing with a flat brush now is applying some of that cobalt blue and grayed down a little bit to the back part of the water. I felt it was a little too uh, bright for my taste and I know that a little uh, wash of cobalt blue will calm that down. I'm also using it to soften that back edge. See how I manipulate the brush into that back edge and soften it. I want to make it recede. Doing the same th thing to some of these left whites. Adding a bit of blue to calm them down. Same time it brings that foreground closer to us. Uh, I feel I need to add a few details to the lighthouse. I'm going into the darker area up above and it shows some of the fencing, or the walkway up there, the light itself, and those uh, there's some metal uh, segments that kind of uh, go across the lighthouse. I'm using a rounded stroke to give that uh, lighthouse a little more feeling of roundness. Now, some details. Um, I feel some seagulls would be appropriate. The placement of seagulls can be uh, a, a bit of a challenge. We want it to feel random, but we want it to feel like a flock. So what I'm thinking here are various distances, various sizes, and also a little different angle at which each is flying. So this gives the sensation that they're, there's a body of birds, but they're moving uh, at different distances. And then last I want to put in some stronger darks uh, into the stones below here where the, they meet the water's edge. Uh, I'm using probably the darkest pigment that I have in the painting right here. And this is all to give a feeling of depth in the painting from the foreground which is uh, captured by these few stones to the mid-ground where we see the water's edge, to the distance where we see uh, the profile of the lighthouse and the other structure. So this is it in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed uh, the demo and the video. It's my first. <laughs>